Roberts and this is my co-host Jeremy Wood and this is just down the road. Today we are in Kansas City, Missouri at the American Royal Barbecue. That's right, Diane. Not only is it the temperature of the air that changes every October and November here in Kansas City, it's also the aroma in the air as all kinds of great food is being prepared here at the World Series of Barbecue and we're going to bring it all to you as well as later on we get to be judges at the progressive dinner at the American Royal. So free food and prizes Woo, doesn't get much better than that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, guess what else the American Royal is known for? America. America. <laughs> We're going to go be Americans. to the American Royal Barbecue all year long. I'm telling you people, it is barbecue as far as you can see and smell. Blocks and blocks and blocks, it's all kind of boundaried in and it is just one feast after another for your nose and your mouth. Somebody really ought to come up with a candle that's like brisket or ribs, chicken, pork, I'll take any of them. I'd never been to the American Royal. I've lived in Kansas City most of my life and never been there. I know the, the baseball team, the Kansas City Royals are named after the Royal. Uh, I know they have great food down there, great livestock shows. I had just never been. So when Just Down the Road got together and we decided that's where we were headed for the next show, I got very, very excited, especially when I was told the World Series of Barbecue would be what we were covering. We started getting the lay of the land and we checked in with the people, the who's who, and found out that there were some massive big time celebrities in from barbecue pitmaster shows and the like. You had. Rod Gray with Pellet Envy, Johnny Trigg, Smoking Triggers, Tuffy Stone, Myron Mixon. These guys are legends in barbecue. So first up, we had to talk to all of these guys. Some of you may know the gentleman we're talking with now. This is Rod Gray. He is the pit master of Pellet Envy. And he's here at the American Royal with his custom grill, grilling up some chicken. We, we've been looking at it and smelling it. Can't it wait, is can't fantastic. Wait. How are you doing today, sir? Doing well. It's been a long weekend already. We've got a ways to go. So what are you entering in? What part of the contest are, are you going after? Well, today we're cooking for the Invitational. About 150 teams from all over the company that have qualified. Uh, this is the world championship right here. This is the one we all want to win. And we got to cook chicken, ribs, pork, and brisket to do it. You are the master of all things barbecue. That's um, what I'm hearing. I've heard that too. I'm we not sure I believe it. Right now, people. <laughs> so what do we have going on in here right now? What's cooking up? So we're really close to starting our turn-in period, which runs about an hour and a half long every 30 minutes. I've got chicken and ribs still on. The pork and brisket are off and holding. So we're getting ready to get serious about it. Sounds Ooh. delicious. Excellent. Absolutely Excellent. delicious. My pork is holding. We were offered barbecue by the barbecue masters of the world. I'm telling you, we were standing there and they would just turn and give us this look of would you like some world-class barbecue? Oh, baby, I was in, in, in. And Jeremy, ugh, he just kept interrupting. No, 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 that's okay. You're so kind, but I am, because it's always, always about Jeremy, I'm going to make them a feast that they will never forget, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm never going to forget it, I'll tell you that right now. Now, I know they're famous for the great world-class barbecue, and these guys have tons and tons of trophies to prove it, but I know my way around a grill. And my promise to the Just Down the Road crew was, I'm fixing you guys a feast for all your hard work. It's the least I could do. So I wouldn't let anybody eat uh, these guys' food. So uh, would you guys like to try some of it? Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh Diane. I am in. Rod, I don't what? mean to insult you, but uh, I'm going to be cooking up some food for the Just Down the Road crew Jeremy, later. No. Are you an idiot? I'm, trust me. Trust He's me. the master. I'm sure he is in his own little world, but I have the ability to cook up a great big feast for you guys, and Disclaimer. I don't want you to be full on that. Disclaimer, uh, this is a bunch of it. Okay. Oh, I'm sure it's just as good. You think? I don't know. No. I don't know. Can we see? Can we see? Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, all right. All right, we're here with Johnny Trigg with Smoking Triggers and brand new Hall of Fame member for the World Series of Barbecue and the Barbecue Hall of Fame. 
for the United States of America. Mr. Trigg, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it. You're a celebrity. Oh, no. No, there's no John. <laughs> well, you are to us. <laughs> We're celebrities. So uh, tell us, what are some of the awards you've won through the years? Well, probably the most prestigious I've won. I'm the only person that's ever won the world championship at Jack Daniels. And, <laughs> and 24 years of it. This will be the 24th year, and I'm cooking it again this year for the 12th time. Okay. What do you have on the grill behind us right now? I've got some uh, ribs. Ah, ribs. Sounds ribs. good. Sounds yeah. good. Well, Would you uh, like to try one? Oh, yes. No, yes. Diane, no. again. Yes, I, we would love to try some. Mr. Trigg, I sure appreciate it, oh. but I'm cooking the crew of just down the road a feast. Oh, okay. After oh. this is over. It, trust me, it's going to be worth it, okay? I'm sure it'd be much better than my ribs. That's right. Well, yeah, okay. Can I meet you later? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Come on. You're not doing that. Thanks, Mr. Trigg. Uh, Congratulations on the Hall you. of Fame induction. Thank you. You're a star. <laughs> The king of brisket people, this is Myron Bixon, and I want you to tell me how it starts, what you do, you know, how did it all begin? For the brisket? Yeah. Well, we started this morning around 4 o'clock when we lit our fires and everything. We did all our marinating. We did our marinating for about an hour. By the time the fire got ready at 5 o'clock, placed it on after doing all the rub. At 9 o'clock, because we're cooking hot and fast, about 325, because we're just searing in the juices, right. we pull it off. It's already ready to go. It's done. Oh, Four hours. Yeah. We're cooking Wagyu beef, we wrap it, we're letting it rest for about three hours. When it got time for turn-ins, we do our slices, we do our burn-ins, yep. had a gorgeous box, the rest there of it, and we, uh, there it is. And we there went, it find is. out who's going to win this thing. What's your favorite part about the Royal? Favorite part about the Royal is the level of competition you have yeah, here. It's high. Well, it is. I mean, you got almost 600 teams in the Open tomorrow, but the day in the Invitational, 120 something plus teams. All of them are winners. If you wouldn't want a winner, you wouldn't be here in the Invitational. Yeah, that's right. Hey, do you by chance have any food back there? Because this one tells me he's going to cook something up later, whatever. Do you have any spares? <laughs> yeah, you might need to take a doggy bag home. He don't like eating how much cooking. Okay, does. there it is. Doggy bag. <laughs> to a past winner of the World Series of Barbecue at the American Royal. So we went to the Motley Q crew, great group of guys, Mustard, Onion, T-Rex, Riley, and Mikey Z. Oh, and some guy named Guy, I don't know. He had white hair. Mm. All right, well, we've made our way back into one of the teams here. Uh, I, I believe you guys were, what were you, grand champions in 2011? Was it something like that? Yeah, grand champions. Yeah, not too bad. I'd like to introduce you to uh, Mustard. This is Riley. Unknown, Mike, and Guy Fieri. You, you might know him. He's on a TV show of his own. He's almost as famous as we are, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Working and of course, that's it. Diane. Working towards Working. it. And that's Mikey Z, by the way. Mikey that's Z. Mikey Mike. Z. That's Mikey, Mikey Z. Z. Good to know. So tell us, guys, what did you enter into today? What parts of the contest did you go into? We did the fondue, we did the appetizer <laughs> section, and kids' fun meals. Those were the choices. Very nice. Said. How'd you, that go for you? You shouldn't have a lot of competition fondue in Fondue is magical. Is really, <laughs> not a lot of people do too to fish fondue. No. <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. Mike Z, tell them. Uh, we uh, entered uh, all four meats, the chicken, ribs, uh, pork, and brisket. Mm. You need to enter all four to be qualified to win the grand championship. All right, now, how about pork butt? Because that's my favorite. Well, that actually is it. The pork's the pork butt. Pork butt. I just like saying it. It's like short for pork butt, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and rump roast. That's the other good one. Yeah. So right, the, the name Motley Q Crew, how did you come up with the name Motley Q Crew? Uh, Have you looked at us? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you'd probably better tell that story. It fit with us being from all over the country and just our personalities. I mean, we're just a Motley Crew and so Motley Q Crew. Yeah, and the 2011 Grand Champion. So again, explain. How do you get to be the grand champion? You have to win in all categories. Is that did I hear right? <laughs> no, Mikey Z will break it down for you though. How how we ended up winning the 2011 uh, Grand Championship, which was 
an unbelievable out of that many teams to win is an unbelievable feat. And Mikey Z, why don't you break it down for us? Break it down. Okay, Done. here it is. Like uh, out of the four meets, uh, we we scored uh, three top ten finishes. Yeah. And uh, across the board, uh, the scores on the four meet categories added up to the highest point total in Grand Champ. Grand Champ. Grand when your champ. meets add up, people, you get the Grand Champ. I asked you all this yesterday. Who wants to give the inside scoop on Guy? Who wants yeah, to tell a story that will scoop. embarrass him on camera? That we don't oh. all go to jail. Thank you. Now. It's been nice having you all. And please stay tuned for this helpful tip of what to do with those darn holiday leftovers. Thank you. We made a list. When we were hanging out with the Motley Q crew, we also met Jimmy John of Jimmy John Sandwiches. You know, number seven, tuna on wheat. Yeah. Guess what, he signed my hat. I guess he thought I was pretty sexy. Look! The World Series of Barbecue is the premier barbecue contest in the whole world. This is the one you want to win if you want to be known in the, the world of barbecue pitmasters. Well, uh, it's also a timed event. So we were there, we went around where they were judging the food and actually watched these guys running their food in as the clock is literally dwindling down to nothing. Okay, all the meat has been turned in. It's been a rush, rush, rush around here. It's very exciting. So now the contest is going on. People are eating and judging and it's kind of silent and you're scoring on a card and it's very official. It's very exciting. What do you have to do to get the golden ticket to be a judge at the American Royal? I just want to know. Uh, look at me. Look at me. I am made for this stuff. How did I not get that job? Hey, how you doing? I'm Guy Fieri, and you're hanging out with this crazy crew? This is just down the road. now a couple of days I think uh, that pretty much proves that we are uh, full authentic cowboys at this point but the measure of any true cowboy or cowgirl Thank is how you. long you stay on the old mechanical bull we're doing it so Diane and I are gonna have a little competition here as we always do and usually I win so probably won't be any different this time Shocker. whoever stays on the mechanical bull the longest is the truest most authentic cowboy on the show or girl <laughs> cowboy Girl, I really don't have any excuses. Best I could tell was that the man operating the mechanical bull uh, operated it at a much higher speed. I mean, that thing was bucking like you wouldn't believe when I was on it. And it was almost puppy-like when Diane was there. So. I'll give her credit for winning, um, although I do believe the jury is out on whether or not that contest was rigged. Apparently, I am the bull riding champ. Thank you very much. A girl won. Yeah, it's all in the, uh, the knees, girls. Press in, hold on. While we were there, they had a burnt ends eating contest, which was both fascinating and disgusting at the exact same time. This guy ate over eight pounds of barbecue in one sitting in a timed event. I mean, people, that's a kid. That's a newborn or a dog or something. Pretty impressive, unless you consider that when they threw the 30 remaining pounds away, I ate all of that. Later on in Hale Arena, the big presentation was going on. And Jeremy and I got to sit on the floor and take it all in, and none of our guys pulled it out this year. However, we just cheered them on, and it was so fun. And, you know, you just got to salute the people who won because it is a big, big undertaking. Congratulations to all the winners. Way to go, guys. And uh, if you need to uh, test your food before going into any other contests, um, you can call me or reach me at justdowntheroad.net. The Hall of Fame barbecue is at the American Royal in Kansas City, and it is a huge feather in our cap. They brought in all the guys that had been inducted the previous year and ladies and introduced them to the crowd, and then they inducted this year's group, which included two of the people we interviewed, Johnny Trigg and Guy Fieri. I'd like to think they got there on pure talent alone, but 
I think getting on just down the road might have pushed it over the top. This is the most outrageous, wild, fantastic, off the hook, gotta do experience in your lifetime culinary event. Ladies and gentlemen, the barbecue competition of the world, the American Royal. Thank you. dinner. Maybe a highlight of my already highlight filled life. I've never been a part of something where I was able to eat as much as I wanted for free and then tell people whether or not they were good at it. It was the perfect storm as far as I'm concerned. And we got to judge which meant we got to eat it. Well if you're going to be a judge and you're going to do it seriously you need to uphold an oath. I found out the Progressive Dinner didn't have an oath, so I went ahead and pinned one for them. It was poetic. Well, for the love of Pete, uh, it's just a Progressive Dinner, but no. Jeremy thinks that we have to be sworn in, it's gotta be all official, I mean, whatever. Once we were sworn in and I was given the rules, I was ready to stuff my face. All right, judges, raise your right hand. Your other right hand. Aye, state your name. Aye, state your name. Do solemnly swear to be a fair judge for the American Royal Progressive Dinner. Do solemnly swear to be a fair judge for the American Royal Progressive Dinner. I will not accept or solicit bribes. I will not accept or solicit bribes. Bribes. I will not eat all of the food. I will not eat all of the food. And I will uphold all of the rules of the dinner. And I will uphold all of the rules of the dinner. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, judges, and thank you for the service to your country. Thank you, Greg DeMintz. It's an honor. Let's go eat some food. Loosen your belt buckle. The three categories that we were to judge upon were food, of course, decorations of the stall, and entertainment. And we proceeded to walk down the long line of food, I like to call it the Isle of Heaven, and judge them based on their decorations, their entertainment, and the deliciousness of their food. All right, I'm here with Greg Cullen. One of the uh, stalls here looks like uh, Cullen Quarter Horses, is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, and you're called The Undertaker. Why are people calling you The Undertaker? Because I, uh, I own Cullen Funeral Home in Raymore, so. So uh, what's a lot of your food made out of? <laughs> it's uh, all natural food. I'll bet it is. Greg, I don't know if you know this, but we're judging on three points of criteria, the food, okay. the presentation, and the entertainment. All right. So, uh, what are you going to do to entertain me? Well, uh, I don't have to do anything because I, I hired a DJ and they're taking care of that. So um, the DJ will. And if you need any other information, my wife here, she can um, she can uh, dance for you if you want that. All right, we'll have to do that off camera. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Greg, you're receiving good marks from me right now. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Let's get to Diane. We're here with the Mexican theme. Uh oh. Don't you hate when your hairy mustaches ladies tries to fall off? What are you going to do to entertain us besides the mustache? You know, um, we're not in charge of entertainment. They have entertainment down there. Nice answer. Nice answer. Okay. I think maybe the pinata looks kind of fun. I'll yeah. get with him later. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Thank you. Yeah. Part of the status of being a world-class progressive dinner judge, of course, was to announce the winner. And I have to say, Jeremy and I did it. Honestly, there were no bribes. Nothing like that went on through, through any of the judging. I know as far as I'm concerned, I think I picked the guy that did the best as far as entertainment goes, the best as far as decorations go, and he gave me the most food. So congratulations. Hey, Let's get the heck out of here before people figure out who we really are. All right, okay, run. <laughs> like I said before, the American Royal is very dear and special to me. I enjoy it so much walking around meeting people. I especially this year enjoyed meeting the kings of barbecue. What a day. Um, as I said at the top of the show, I had never been to the American Royal, uh, but I just had a blast. Judging the progressive dinner was a blast, and meeting all of the cool celebrities, Johnny Trigg, Rod Gray, Myron Mixon, um, 
Tuffy Stone and Guy Fietti, and especially the Motley Q crew. I'll never forget those guys. They were just a lot of fun. So the American Royal, lots and lots of fun. If you're like me and you've not been, don't waste another chance. Get there the next time it's here. We have had the most incredible time today, people, and we are wiped out and full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of uh, great food, as you can imagine, here at the American Royal, and we have just had a blast, a whale of a time, I whale would Whale of a time. Yeah. We've had a beef of a time. It, it has just been a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody that joined us on the show today. We sure appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you had as much fun as we did. If you'd like to find out more about Just Down the Road, look us up online, justdowntheroad.net. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter right there and watch your favorite episodes of Just Down the Road. For Diane Roberts and this is Jeremy Wood, we're signing off from the American Royal. Thanks for watching, people. Bye. Jeremy promised a feast, right? What did we get? Wieners with cheese in them. Yeah, let's say that together. Wieners with cheese. It was a disaster. I'm, I'm just never going to be the same again. I'm ruined. I'm a ruined woman. I was offered world-class barbecue. I was ready to take it right there. No, no, Diane. No, Diane. I've got the spectacular feast. I've only had this tick, you know, a couple of months now. Yes, I had the Just Down the Road crew refuse uh, some of the best food in the world from the best barbecue pit masters in the world. Well, you know what, Kansas City's known for its barbecue, and I'd like to think I had something to do with that. I'm on the American Royal Committee for crying out loud. And no, I didn't steal this shirt, contrary to rumors that are circulating all over the world. I made them the good stuff, man. I had my little grill set up. I worked a good five or six minutes on those hot dogs, and they weren't the cheap ones. They had cheese in them, man, cheese in the hot dog, melted. It was glorious. They passed it up, and they went on and ate with the Johnny Trigg, ooh, Hall of Famer. I ate all the hot dogs. They were great. Delicious. You guys missed out.